Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the Clean Water Store residential contact tanks. Uh, this is a 15 gallon, we also carry a 30 gallon tank. Uh, these will be used in the residential uh, area up to 15 gallons a minute uh, water flow. Um, and we use these with the J-Pro pumps for chemical injection for mixing. So chlorine, soda ash, hydrogen peroxide. So just an overall of the setup here, a couple things I wanted to note. You're going to want to use quick disconnect unions here on your inlet and outlet. This will allow you to remove your control head here and clean the tank out yearly if you choose to do that. Um, these tanks do not have a bottom drain, so I highly recommend you do that. The other thing we notice here is there's a vacuum relief on here. If your well pump were to fail or you were somehow able to draw a vacuum on this tank, it would implode the tank and though that's not covered by warranty so highly recommend you install a vacuum relief on the system so just an overview here you basically come through the inlet on the outlet port of this head you're going to go down through a distributor tube out the bottom basket up through the water back and out okay so by using a distributor tube type system like this you can increase your baffle factor uh, and the efficiency of mixing on the tank so I'm going to go ahead and unthread this, just to show you what's going on here. And again, when you install this, you don't use any thread lube or any th uh, lubricant on the threads. The seal is on the O-ring here. I'm going to go ahead and tilt this back just so I can show you the setup here. So again, your water's coming in, down through the distributor tube, out through your bottom basket, up through the water in the tank and then out and as you can see here we have the inlet side coming into the out the outlet going out or the inlet going out here this way hopefully you can see that okay and I also wanted to show you the o-ring here so you'll just lube this up with your 100% silicon grease you pull the o-ring off lube it up nothing on the threads Again, when you install it, there's no need to over tighten these. You want to just make a good contact seal with the O ring. If you over tighten this, you'll crack these. They're plastic. I also wanted to note on the threads here use thread lube only. Don't use thread tape. If you use thread tape, you can increase the diameter of the fitting and crack the head as well. So just the uh, thread sealant is the best thing to use on those. Um, okay, that just about covers it. Uh, thanks and have a good day.